Hey friends, I am Sampada Kulkarni welcoming you to my channel Tech Talks. From this, you must have come to know that what topic today I am going to discuss with you. So, in this today's session or in this series, I am going to discuss the concept of recursion. Before moving to the content, I would like to request you to subscribe my channel Tech Talks and keep the bell ringing now this will be a road map for this video series we will go through the different concepts of recursion and at the end of this series you will be having a thorough knowledge of recursion so what we are going to cover we are going to cover what is recursion and why do we need recursion it means the introduction about the recursion then we will see different types of recursion, what are the different cases that is base case and recursive case, they are helpful while implementing the recursion. We will see the working of recursion with the example and few more examples we will see. Then we will see the most important concept that is use of the stack for the recursive function call and its application, the application of recursion we will see. We will also see the difference between recursion and the iteration and at the last we will see the advantages and disadvantages of the recursion. So let's start with the first one introduction to the recursion. So what is recursion? Before that you must know what do you mean by function. So a function is an important concept that includes the function definition, function declaration and function body. If you want to know more details about the function, I am giving you the link of my video where I have already explained the concept of function in detail. Now a recursion. A recursive function is a particular function that calls itself repeatedly until a certain condition made. That all of you are know, must knowing the definition of the recursion. Recursion it means calling to itself. So this is not only the definition about the recursion. If the recursion is the concept, there are many more things that you supposed to know about recursion or when you are going to use the recursion in your program. So recursion, it is a method which calls itself directly or indirectly. All these things I am going to cover in this current video series. So what do you mean by this direct method of the recursion and the indirect method of the recursion we will see very soon. So in recursion for the repeated calling of the function because recursion itself a repeated calling to the self function. So for the repeated calling of the function the two cases are required they are base case and a recursive case or recursive condition. What they are that also I like going to explain you very soon with the help of example. So in short you can come to know here about the recursive condition. It helps for the repetition of the code again and again in your recursive function and the base case or base condition which helps the termination of a program or termination of a function. The base case is also called as termination condition or a stopping point because as you know recursion is a repeated function call there should be a stopping point because if you will not give a stopping point your function will go into the infinite execution or the infinite loop so hence the best condition base case termination condition or a stopping point you can use any of the word that will be more important while implementing the recursion so let's pay the attention your recursion is in short we will see again one function calls itself while using the recursion no sorry the number of parameters will never change the number of parameters are if they are three they will be same as it is for all time function call again there will not be any change in the code code will be the same the change will be the value of the parameter 
the number of parameters will be same but the value which will be holded by the parameter that will change for every recursive function call how it will get changed that i'll explain you with the help of example so let's again focus on the recursion where it can be used so the recursion can be used to solve the complex problems also the recursion can be used to solve the problems that form a hierarchical pattern and the third one recursion also can be used if the original problem can be divided into the smaller sub problems so in short in sh we can say that the complex problem which can be divided into smaller sub problems in this situation we can use the recursion so let's start about thinking why and when to use the recursion you must be having a question in your mind why and when to use the recursion why to use recursion and when to use the recursion so let's see here one example if i want to find out a factorial of 1 it will be 1 if i want to find out a factorial of number 2 it will be 2 multiply by 1 that is a previous number the same thing if it is 3 3 multiply by its previous number 2 2 is multiply by its previous number 1 so here you can see that we are going to multiply the number of which you want to find out a factorial with its previous number the that number with its again previous number till your last number is going to become 1 so here you can see that if you want to find out a factorial of 5 it will be a result of 5 multiply by factorial of 4 what will be a factorial of 4 4 multiply by factorial of 3 what will be a factorial of 3 3 multiply by factorial of 2 what will be the factorial of 2 2 factorial of 2 will be the factorial of 1 so in this way the, the big problem we can divide it into the smaller one and we can gain the results so in short we will see here if i want to find out a factorial of 5 i'll move forward and divide my problem into to find out a factorial of 4 then factorial of 3 then factorial of 2 and the last one factorial of 1 when i want to solve this what i will do i will first find out the factorial of 1 that is equal to 1 then i will move forward for factorial of 2 that is 2 multiply by 1 it will it will be equal to 2 then the factorial of 3 3 multiply by factorial of 2 which is 2 3 2 za 6 this will be the result then the factorial of 4 4 multiply by factorial of 3 that is 4 3 za 20 4 6 za 24 and the last one factorial of 5 5 multiply by factorial of 4 that is 5 multiply by 24 will be equal to 120 so here we are gaining the result and we must have understood that why and when to use a recursion so why to use recursion to divide the smaller bigger problem into the smaller one to find out a solution of a bigger problem into the smaller one in other words we will say that the it will help you to perform the division of co complex problem into the smaller problems and which will give you the result it will reduce your work so why and when to use a recursion i hope you have understood now let's move forward for the next one we will see now the types of recursion and then we will see the two cases that which are helpful while implementing a recursive function so first see the type first that is direct recursion so what do you mean by the direct recursion so when the function calls itself directly this will be a direct recursion here you can see that this is the simple code of a function where the function name is direct and in the within the body of the function direct you are making a call to the function direct this will be the example of direct recursion and now let's see the second type that will be the indirect recursion where function calls itself indirectly from another function this is also the type of recursion this type of recursion is called as indirect recursion here you can see that the definition of two function is mentioned over here indirect is the one function func will be the another function 
this func is the function that we are making a call to that function from the indirect function so this func will get call will call to this func function within the func function we are again making a call to the indirect function we will again jump to the indirect function we will again make a call to function within a function indirect and in this way the two function are going to call to each other this is called as the indirect recursion so a direct recursion function calls itself directly and indirect function calls itself indirectly from the another function these are the two main types of the recursion function now let's focus on the heart of the recursion or the concept heart concept of the recursion is nothing but the two condition base condition and the recursive condition it is also called as a base case and a recursive case so base case is nothing but the base case is when the function stops calling itself this prevents the infinite loop or it is prevents to go the recursive function call into the infinite execution this is called as the base case and what do you mean by the recursive case so the recursive case is the case when the function calls itself or it helps to go into the recursive function call so recursive function always has to stop repeating itself at a particular moment and this is to be done with the help of base case we will see the example of the both the condition base case and the recursive case this is the simple function is mentioned over here the name of the function is recursion we are going to pass a single parameter to it and we are returning the integer value to this function within the function body the first condition is if n is going to become 0 we will return 0 otherwise we will make a recursive function call to the function recursion by passing n minus 1 that is whatever will be the current n value that minus 1 that we are going to pass to the function recursion so now let's see here n is equal to 0 this condition this is the base case or a base condition and what we have seen about the base condition which help us to terminate the iteration of the function when n becomes equal to 0 when n is going to become 0 it will help you to stop the iteration hence this is called as the base condition stopping condition and the next is nothing but the recursive condition which one is the recursive condition recursion n minus 1 n minus 1 by calling a function recursion n minus 1 is a recursive case or recursive condition that will help the function to go into the repetition so recursive condition you can see over here will help you to perform recursion but this could not happen like the function goes on recursion or continuous execution without exiting it from a function execution it should get exit it should stop at some moment that condition is called as the stopping condition or it is also called as the best condition so i repeat the condition which helps you to exit from a recursion this is called as base condition and the condition which help you to perform repeated execution of a function this is called as recursive condition so i hope you have understood the difference and the importance of base condition and the recursive condition so let's see the same base condition and the recursive condition with the example of factorial function this is the factorial function where we are passing a single parameter which is n of which we want to find out a factorial so the function is telling us if n is greater than or equal to 1 what we have to do we have to perform the multiplication of current n with the multiplication of n minus 1 but this function we are calling repeatedly hence the name or the function call will be the factorial again hence this is the example of recursion and if this condition is not satisfying if n is not equal to greater than or equal to 1 then we have to return to the function with the value 1 so in this function in this factorial function we have to perform many repetitive calls to the function and in this example the recursive condition would be n into factorial 
n minus 1 that is fact will be the name of the function and let's take the example n this n is 5 initially so first in this function 5 will be multiplied with the factorial this 5 will be multiplied with the factorial of n minus 1 that is 4 and this factorial function is called again and this is to be going to be performed repeatedly iteratively till the value of n is going to become 0 because if this this function repeatedly or recursively will get called until n value of n is greater than or equal to 1 once it's going to become equal to 0 because in every iteration we are performing the subtraction of 1 from the current n value there would be one more moment that this n value is going to become 0 and at that moment this condition will be false and it will return 1 so in this way this will be executed so let's talk about the best condition this will be the best condition which will help you to exit from the recursive function call and obviously this will be the recursive condition which will help you to perform the recursive function call so in this way we can write down the factorial function with the help of recursion so thank you friends for listening and watching this video if you like the content and the video please like the video subscribe my channel tech talks and do not forget to share it with your friends thank you